E-bikes are evolving so fast, it's really hard to keep up with them. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Engui P275 Pro. So where would I class this P275 Pro? In order to comply with EU regulations, it has a 250 watt motor. So I class it as a commuter stroke city bike. So it's gonna be great for commuting and no sunny days out. Assembling the P275 out of the box is really easy. You don't really need any technical skills. All the tools are supplied with the bike. Construction time takes about an hour. All you have to do is put the front wheel on, the handlebars and a few other little accessories. Engui claim that in power assist one, the bike will go for 260 kilometers. But I think realistically, it's gonna be around 200 kilometers. That's 124 miles. And in power assist five, 150 kilometers, about 93 miles. The battery can be charged in situ, or it can be removed and charged. Removing the battery is really simple. It's locked and unlocked using the key. So first of all, we need to raise the seat pad up, put the key in the ignition, turn it, and you can feel the battery release. At this point, you want to remove the key and then just simply pull the battery out. And putting the battery in is exactly the reverse. Slot it into the frame, insert your key, to lock it into place and you're good to go. Always use the bike with the key in the slot and that locks the battery in place. If you don't, the battery may jump around and disconnect the drive. The seat post is hydraulically operated so it can easily accommodate different sized riders. The recommended rider height is 175 to 200 centimeters. The total weight of the bike is 27.6 kilograms. On the front there, you've got a lovely LED light, which I'm sure is gonna light up the road quite well. It's got a Selly Royal seat, and the rear lighting unit is removable, and it's operated independently by just pushing the front there. Press it once for solid light, press it twice for flashing light, third time for off. 
This fantastic looking rack has a 25 kilogram capacity and the 27.5 inch tires have reflective strips. I use the P275 Pro at night and you can see how well these reflective strips work. Well, as we turn the Engui on, we're greeted with that lovely Engui logo and it defaults to the Eco mode. Now, if I press the arrow up button, I can then scroll through the different modes. So I've got Eco, Touring, Sport, Sport Plus, or the Boost mode. If I go all the way back down, past Eco, that's zero, so that is no electronic pedal assist at all. Now if you see along the bottom there, you'll see a series of icons. Now by pressing the power mode, I can scroll through the different features. So you can select your desired feature and get the relevant information off of it. I just like the trip and the speed. And of course the battery percent. And on the right there, you have a battery meter which shows you how much battery it's pulling. It's really quite an intricate display. It takes a little bit of learning, but what I do like about it, it's easy to see and it's nice and discreet. And I particularly like these nice confident grips. And I still believe the brakes are on the wrong side. Traditionally, the front brake is on the right and the back brake is on the left. But on the Engui models, they're the other way around. The front brake is on the left and the back brake is on the right. It would be nice to change those around and be just compliant with other vehicles on the road. Well, that's all the specifications taken care of. How does it ride? Let's go for a ride around Winchester. Absolutely perfect. I'm really loving this, you know. Just cruising around the streets of Winchester with an automatic gearbox and a belt drive. That belt drive is really silent, you know. So at the moment, the... Uh, the bike's just just clicked into second gear, which is really nice. Nice smooth gear change actually on this. And as I say, because it's um, a EU compliant bike, it's restricted to 250 watts of power. Just doing 10 miles an hour, look, I'm in boost mode. I can see why they've classed this as a city stroke commuter bike. It's nice and light because it hasn't got suspension on it. It's lovely and nimble and it's got that sporty head down sort of stance. They do a step through model with higher handlebars and I do believe it's got derailleur gearing. I'm not 100% sure. It's designed for commuters, that's for sure. But it's designed for the taller rider, I think, because the seat height is quite high. Let's try it on a slight incline with lots of people. Now it's in, it's in first gear. Let's try that bell out. Oh, that works, look, thanks guys. So it's a slight incline here, first gear, no problem at all. Put a bit of pedal pressure on, and there we go. Second gear and third gear. Quiet, isn't it? Really quiet. Absolutely brilliant. You can see the cathedral there, look. Just coming up to the cathedral. Easy to manoeuvre at low speeds, really easy, no problem at all. Because of that low gear, it just literally automatically kicks into that low gear and you're, you're just cruising. And you can feel it going through the gears, up and down the gears. Here's a slight incline now. Here we go, first gear. Seven miles an hour, eight miles an hour. Really easy. I'm sure you can. And because this bike is EU compliant, i.e. it's got a 250 watt motor and no throttle, you're not gonna get in any trouble with the law. Which is always nice, isn't it? Second gear. 
Here we go. So the Winchester Museum there on our right. Brilliant. Nice little coffee shop. Perhaps we'll stop off there and, and have a talk about my thoughts. What do I think of this Engui P275 Pro? Do you know what? I like it. I really do like it. Again, because it's got the mid-range Bafang M200 torque sensor, it's like a conventional bike. So the more effort you put in, the more performance you get out. I thought doing an ending in a calf on Winchester High Street was a good idea, but clearly not because it's getting quite busy. Well, that's it, guys. That's the Engui P275 Pro. What do you think of it? I absolutely love it. It's priced at about £1,800, but if you go onto the Engui website, I know they're doing some anniversary deals, so you might get yourself a bargain. Now, what do I like about this P275? I love the belt drive, I love the free speed transmission, I love the radical styling and the great paint finish. I think it's gonna be a winner. Big thumbs up to you guys at Engui. And if you found this video entertaining or of any interest, why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can test some tech together in the future. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.